Good morning. I am a real estate agent in South Louisiana, loving everything real estate. <clears throat> Y'all have a sinus, some kind of sinus trip, so I sound like an old bar horse. So excuse me this morning. This is not my voice. This is crazy. Um, <clears throat> here's what I want to talk about. Number one, a lot of people look at me now and say, wow, that girl is so successful. And what you don't see is the backstory. So let's, um, five years ago, around this same time, I was working in the school system and I had gotten to the point where I was up um, almost as high as I thought I wanted to be and the next thing would have been the superintendency um, and I got fired and absolutely that ended up being the catalyst for why I am successful today. I was at that time, um, I was not feeling appreciated, I was not feeling valued, I absolutely was not on the same page with our superintendent at that time. We had totally, totally, totally different philosophies. Fast forward to today where I'm working for a company where the motto is simple. Be kind, work hard. Simple as that. So simple, yet so profound. And I've always, always believed that if you treat pe people the way that you want to be treated, then good things will come to you. So anyway, getting fired from that current, from that position was the absolute best thing that ever could have happened to me. And I had absolutely a point to prove. I um, was out to prove that no one was going to determine my fate. No one was going to determine how successful I could be. And I decided on that day when I got fired. And then listen, y'all, the great thing is that I had 20 years in education. I was able to retire. Um, and, and it absolutely, like I said, was a blessing in disguise, but getting fired five years ago was the catalyst for me. I am very hard headed, um, very determined, very driven. And I knew that whether I was pushing buggies at Walmart, or whatever the case would be, I would be the best at it. And that's always been my mentality. So my advice to you is this, life is way too short to be in a position where you are miserable, where you're maybe undervalued, you're mistreated, any of the things. Life is too damn short to be stuck in any situation where you're not feeling like you have value, you can bring value, you can do great things. I firmly believe God put us on this earth to rise above and to make a difference. And so when I got out of education, I had a point to prove. And my point was that I was going to be successful no matter what. And so these are the tips I'm going to give you. Number one, decide what you want to do and go do it. And don't think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna give it a shot. Just decide what you wanna do and go do it. And don't let anyone tell you any different. Listen, education, real estate. Education, sales. Two totally different realms of the spectrum. And you wouldn't believe how many people said to me, that's crazy. Why would you not just go to 30 years Go get a job in another district, right? And just continue in education because that's what you know. Because um, I get bored very easily. And so I decided I was going to do it and I was going to be the best at it. And so if you go into whatever position you decide to do and you treat people right, you treat people with kindness, you treat them like they're special, you do what's best for them, so many times, especially when I'm representing a buyer, my job when I'm representing the buyer, totally different from my job when I'm representing a seller. When I'm representing a buyer, my absolute goal 
is to get them the absolute best deal humanly possible that I can get for them. And lots of other agents will say to me, well, why in the world would you do that? Because your commission is directly related to the amount that they're paying for that house. So listen, if you're a realtor and you are in it, not for the client, but for how much money you can make yourself, you need to go find another job. You need to find another career because you're in it for the wrong reasons and you're probably never going to be successful at it. People can see right through you and they know if you want what's best for them. So for me, one of the reasons I'm so successful at real estate is because I go with what is the absolute main goal, what is best for the client every single time. So if I'm representing the buyer, my goal is to get them the absolute best deal. Now, if I'm working with sellers and I have a listing, my goal is totally opposite. It is to get them the absolute highest amount that they can possibly get in the shortest amount of time. Two totally different goals, but it's the goal that's for the client. So if you wanna be successful in any profession that you choose, the client has to be the number one concern. And so when you meet with them, what is their goal? What is absolutely their goal? Not your goal, but what is their goal? And so when you do right by people, I firmly believe no matter what field you're in, when you do right by people over and over and over again, the word will get out and business will come to you. I had a call yesterday <clears throat> from another agent who said, listen, right now, everyone is struggling. It seems like, how are you so successful? And that's what I said to him. Listen, it will take time. My very first year in real estate, I netted negative $2,000 because I didn't have clients. I had just gotten out of education and my goal was to spend as much money as humanly possible on marketing and advertising so that everyone within, let's say, a 20 mile radius of where I lived knew that I was a realtor. I would see people and they would say, oh, are you still teaching? Even though I'd only taught for four years and I'd been in administration, I'd, I'd been in supervisory positions and all the things, people saw me as a teacher. So they would say, are you still teaching? No, I hadn't taught in 15 years, but they saw me as a teacher. So my goal at the very beginning was to make sure everyone in my neck of the woods knew that I was now in real estate and I was there to help them in whatever capacity I could in real estate. So my first year in um, in real estate, I netted negative $2,000. Now, I tell you what's one of the very first things I did was that person that fired me at that school board office, every single day when he got on that exit to go home, he saw a billboard on IT. And that's how my billboards got started was to prove a point. Now listen, he didn't know that I wasn't making any money. I wasn't making enough money that first year. We had every single credit card maxed out to the hilt the first year in um, that I joined real estate, that I became a realtor. So I sold my very, I got fired in February of 2019. I listed my first house in June of 2019. It closed in July of 2019. For the rest of the year, I spent every single penny I made in real estate, putting it back into the business and marketing and advertising. So number one, if you wanna be successful, always treat people kindly and work hard and make sure you know what their goal is, not your goal. If you're in any position for the money alone, you will fail, I guarantee you. Because money is just money. That's all it is, it's just money. So being successful in anything is about building positive relationships with people. Can people, do people know you? Do they like you? And do they trust you? So number one, I had to make sure that everybody knew that I was a realtor, right? Then I had to make sure that they liked me, which meant that I had to be genuine because people can see right through falsities. People can see right through if you're faking it. Um, and do they trust me? Over and over and over and over again, clients have said to me, listen, I trust you. I'll send them a contract to read 
and I know that they haven't read it because they'll sign it within a couple of minutes because they trust me, they trust me, they trust me. And so when you can get people to know you, like you, and trust you, you can do anything else. Do not go into something because of the money alone. And listen, I went into real estate, I'll tell you why the main reason is, because I never, ever, ever wanted to be in a position again where someone else could determine my fate and someone else could fire me if they didn't like the way that I was doing things, right? And so right now, and also in my old position, it didn't matter how hard you worked or how little you worked, you got the same amount of pay. So if I was a supervisor and you were a supervisor and we had the same level of education and the same level of uh, years in service, we got the same rate of pay no matter if I sat on my ass all day long and did nothing or if I went out and kicked the pavement and did all the things I needed to do. We got paid the same. And that drove me crazy because listen, lots and lots and lots of people in every position but in education are lazy. They're there because they're just there to collect a check. They're not happy. They're counting the days to retirement and they're still making a ton of money. Whether they do a little bit or a lot because listen getting getting fired is actually pretty hard to do I actually um, I'm not gonna say I did anything that I'm not proud to say that I did because I stood up for myself I stood up for my employees I stood up for teachers and students and I did what I needed to do so I'm not I do not have any regrets at all it all led me to where I am today so number one put people first be willing to work your ass off and listen, I hear people say this a lot, and I totally disagree. That if you love what you do, you will never work a day in your life. Listen, that's bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. I work my tail off every day for every client that I represent. I work my tail off for them. It's hard work. It's grueling work. It's always solving problems. It's always doing what you need to do to put out a fire. It's, um, it's just, it, every day is different. So it's hard work, but I absolutely love it. So if you think you're gonna go find something to do and you're not going to work hard, I don't agree. I agree that if you love something and you're willing to do the work to get it done, then it's fun, right? Most of the time it's fun, but it's still work. It's absolutely work. So those are just some tips um, if you are thinking about leaving your current position. A couple of things to know about real estate is that you only have to be 18 years old to get your license. Um, there's really not much other criteria. I don't think, I'm trying to remember what really it is. I guess you can't be a convicted murderer or something like that. But listen, pretty much anybody can get their real estate license. So if you're thinking about getting into real estate and you love people and you don't mind working hard and you like solving problems and you love that every day is a different day and that no one's gonna wake you up in the morning and make you go to work, okay? You're self-contracted, you're self-employed, you absolutely have to be self-motivated and you absolutely have to be fine with no. Because many people are gonna say, no, 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 no. To me, no just means not right now. That's just all it means to me. It just means not right now. Um, I love when people tell me no, because it's a challenge. So if you want a challenging career, well listen, you can make tons of money if you're willing to get out there and do the work. If you're willing to get out there and do what's best for people, the money will come. Not if you go into it because you think you're gonna get rich quick. That's absolutely a falsity, I guarantee you. Um, Y'all have a great day, enjoy your week, and remember this, in real estate, there are no stupid questions. If you have anything at all you're curious about, if you're curious about getting into real estate, if you're thinking about selling, if you're thinking about buying, I'd absolutely love to have a conversation with you. Um, Y'all enjoy this weather, take care.